Hello there. In this video, we're going to create a cuteness overload in AI generated art. So, and we'll start with working text strings. As example, we're going to use it mid journey, but this will work with stable diffusion and with the other render Dali, but as long they have a very similar model. Okay, so let's go ahead right here. I already kind of play around the experiment. I'm going per each line set, what is modified, what was added and a logic behind this. Let's go start with this one. And this one was a cute animal. So it's very simple because what is a cute? And of course we could go on dictionary definition, look, look for that one. But my personal opinion, cute is mean, ah, oh, you know, when people look and says, so that is a reason. And usually as a nature, we define to look on a cute as a babies because it's a biological level. So we are almost hardwiring this. And part of this is what we're going to do. We're going to look on those elements that we're going to use and utilize them. Of course, cute animals. And as a cute animals, it's come up very nicely. A um, couple things notice as effect. Let's next we'll say baby animals because how I said before, cute animals is fine, but baby animals it's more. And what's defined as a baby? It's usually unproportionally bigger head, uh, big eyes that, you know, kind of fluffiness, softness. And this has come up very good when you just type cute baby animals. Well, of course, it's just the beginning. We cannot stop just there. Let's go next. Cute baby animals, furry. I want to say big eyes. It's what I wanted. And right here come up my beautiful English, which I fixed later, but just ignore those ones. Okay, when I misspell, likely for me that Mid Journey have a very good uh, spell checker built inside. Otherwise, I will be in big trouble. Anyway, let's go see right here big animals. Let's look on this. Look at this. We already have a very big eyes pop up. Well, some eyes with it's look like they're pooping, maybe even. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so we need to add smile and add all this, but it's already, oh, you know, kind of look on this. So next let's go add, we add very unproportionally big head for the realistic one. And I want to add soft lighting. So now soft light, we have it like bubble head, maybe, you know, kind of with the funky pop or other one style. And right here, look on this. That is excellent. Okay. This is a face when it pop up and you're like, oh, that is so adorable. Okay, but we don't going stop there. Let's go next. Cute baby. So in this case, we add funky pop. So I was just like brand. See if it's pop up because if you saw those dolls funky pop, they have a big head, everything. And I don't think it's really took it. It's create more like in a gremlin way, little bit start going to creepy. So we need to push it our step away. Of course, what is better than one? It's when a group of an animal. So we add word group of the cute animals and we do start having something interesting. So the reason is why group sometimes work maybe better on the cuteness because some people may like kitties, some people like dogs, whatever. But if you just display one animal, it just will stuck there. But if you have a group of the animals, most likely one of those animals when people look and says, ah, oh. okay, let's go next. So right here, I says, well, I was going to extreme say, how about we make mountain made out of cute animals? But of course, me, Johnny translate different and just stick cute animal on the top of mountain, which is work not bad. It's nice backdrop, happily. Well, I was trying to take to extreme and says, let's go make explosion. So they're all flying around. Of course, it's edited, but as a result, it's give it actually this very nice one. I like this with multicolor, which is giving me another idea so we can go that direction. And of course, group of very all this visual, durable. Uh, um, again, very bad misspelling. Forgive for this. We'll fix it later. But this is kind of nice. I like it because it starts giving me these portraits and that is interesting result. And notice it's a three out of four. So it is more likely consistency in this. And this is applied group already. So it's kind of very interesting. Okay, let's go next. I'll say rain made out of cute animals. Again, it did not rain with cute animals. It just stick my poor animals inside the rain. Okay, let's go next. And here it says, okay, let's go roll back because we definitely going a little bit of wrong directions. Let's go back and try to do other things. So here's a very cute animals. 
furry, large arms and proportion big head, most adorable, <coughs> fixed English, uh, animals, visual, soft lighting, bubble head, funky pop, photorealistic, pastel color. So I want to add softness. And this is kind of interesting because you can add hard contrast and high contrast and high lighting usually make a little bit harder look. If you add pastel colors, pastel, soft lighting, this will create a nice looking. And look on this. That is a beautiful look. Look on those eyes. This is almost like, you know, in the, what is that? Puss in Boots, I think it's one that creates this adorable eyes look on this. So in it, look right there. That is a beautiful look. Very nice, adorable. But what is more adorable when we'll see some animal wearing human clothes or some special teeny tiny clothes made for them. It's why that industry for the dogs is very, or cats, very popular to create the clothes. So I say, okay, let's create one. Let's add one in a leather armor and just make him as a Robin Hood. Of course, the hero, cute animal. This is another, we'll say, ah, when you look on this. Okay, and of course, we try to stick them maybe in the disco, kind of lighting, bright, see how this happened. I do like how the ears glowing, translucency on the materials it's very nice. I mean, it's beautiful. This is a very good one to come up. And you notice right here, I start adding, okay, reference, 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 the Disney, Pixar, kind of dancing, happy, kind of create this one. Again, until that one was working around another permutation on the our Robin Hood, just to see if we have any different effect. And it's not bad. Overall, it's kind of still looking interesting. And if you, in the style, how I said to put it on a cute baby animal, something human dress will always make even more cuteness. So we'll try to create in these videos, we try to create this overload on the cuteness. So you will be just sitting and puking cuteness should be on the end. So we'll see if that happened. Okay, next let's go a bit more realistic and right here, not realistic, different themes. We'll put it in a space. How about we'll put it a cute space suit and it's kind of work okay, um, but I forgot I left like Robin Hood inside and all that stuff, so we'll clean up this. By the way, this is one of the, I like it. I like how this look, it, it's a very cute one. Okay, there's another cute. Okay, back to this. So right here you can see it. I clean up a little bit line, remove it, be sure it's a space, all this stuff. And some of this, this one is come up very good with furry ears. I like how helmet look going around ears. I mean. That is very nicely how it's processed and created. And same like this cuteness raccoon. And I, interesting things when I did with space sci-fi, it's pop up raccoons kind of more. I wonder if it's related to Rocket Raccoon from Marvel because he was like in Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy there. If somehow that is influence effect. And of course, what's better than one in space? A group spaceman. So right here and you can see the beautiful this is, I mean, hey, you can create children books very easy with this cuteness, okay? Just create, put it there, and I know everyone will look and says, ah, okay, let's go next. So in this one, it's the same thing, so just on a group of very cute baby animals, laughing, kissing, shy. You want to kind of look down, furry, very large arms and proportionally big heads, um, intricate details, spacesuit, Backpack, rocket, sci-fi, Marvel, oh, again, still Robin Hood here, visuals, so all the stuff, add. Okay, let's go next, we added glitter explosion, because I want those dot star, whatever, make backgrounds even more magical. Look on this, this has come up very good. Oh, I like this one. But again, notice what I said before, it's add raccoon, and it's probably because it's have it space, good animals, Marvel, it's kind of go trim towards this. I could change from hamster or raccoon maybe to different other animals but it's still um, more humanoid type of figures apply to this and let's do about dungeon and dragons what if we create them and we'll say hey how about playing dungeon and dragons with baby dragons well as a result it just spawned tons of cute baby dragons for me just like mash of them so which is kind of fun it Another unexpected result is not necessarily what I was going for, but it's work. Again, this cute dragons. And I know some people who love dragons and they will go like, ah, oh, about this one. Okay, and then next we'll have it our group uh, who playing cards. And this is, there you go. This is a little bit more card game, kind of more 
influence on this case. And in this case, you can create when is baby uh, animals dress as a humans playing, doing some human things. We all say, oh, that is so cute. They just try to be like us. OK, so right here, kind of overlay and a little bit more on the dragons. And on this point, I want to say, you know, I think if you're not sick enough from look on all these cute images, then you can go ahead and try to make by yourself. Otherwise, you can welcome to follow me with uh, me journey. You can play look on all of this prompt that I was creating. And hopefully this video was cute enough for you and have a great time. Thank you.